Hello, friends. Today's Bible passage is Amos chapters 4 through 6. Hear this word, you cows of Bashan on Mount Samaria, you women who oppress the poor and crush the needy, and say to your husbands, Bring us some drinks. The Sovereign Lord has sworn by His holiness. The time will surely come when you will be taken away with hooks, the last of you with fish hooks. You will each go straight out through breaks in the wall, and you will be cast out toward Harmon, declares the Lord. Go to Bethel and sin. Go to Gilgal and sin yet more. Bring your sacrifices every morning, your tithes every three years. Burn leavened bread as a thank offering, and brag about your free will offerings. Boast about them, you Israelites, for this is what you love to do, declares the Sovereign Lord. I gave you empty stomachs in every city, and lack of bread in every town. Yet you have not returned to me, declares the Lord. I also withheld rain from you when the harvest was still three months away. I sent rain on one town, but withheld it from another. One field had rain, another had none and dried up. People staggered from town to town for water but did not get enough to drink. Yet you have not returned to me, declares the Lord. Many times I struck your gardens and vineyards. I struck them with blight and mildew. Locusts devoured your fig and olive trees. Yet you have not returned to me, declares the Lord. I sent plagues among you, as I did to Egypt. I killed your young men with the sword, along with your captured horses. I filled your nostrils with the stench of your camps. Yet you have not returned to me, declares the Lord. I overthrew some of you, as I overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. You were like a burning stick snatched from the fire. Yet you have not returned to me, declares the Lord. Therefore, this is what I will do to you, Israel. And because I will do this to you, prepare to meet your God, O Israel. He who forms the mountains, creates the wind, and reveals his thoughts to man. He who turns dawn to darkness, and treads the high places of the earth. The Lord God Almighty is his name. Hear this word, O house of Israel, this lament I take up concerning you. Fallen is virgin Israel, never to rise again, deserted in her own land, with no one to lift her up. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. The city that marches out a thousand strong for Israel will have only a hundred left. The town that marches out a hundred strong will have only ten left. This is what the Lord says to the house of Israel. Seek me and live. Do not seek Bethel. Do not go to Gilgal. Do not journey to Beersheba. For Gilgal will surely go into exile, and Bethel will be reduced to nothing. Seek the Lord and live, or he will sweep through the house of Joseph like a fire, it will devour, and Bethel will have no one to quench it. You who turn justice into bitterness, and cast righteousness to the ground, the one, sorry, 
He who made the Pleiades and Orion, who turns blackness into dawn and darkens day into night, who calls for the watchers of the sea and pours them out over the face of the land. The Lord is his name. He flashes destruction on the stronghold and brings the fortified city to ruins. You hate the one who reproves in court and despise him who tells the truth. You trample on the poor and force him to give you grain. Therefore, though you have built stone mansions, you will not live in them. Though you have planted lush vineyards, you will not drink their wine. For I know how many are your offenses and how great your sins. You oppress the righteous and take bribes, and you deprive the poor of justice in the courts. Therefore the prudent man keeps quiet in such times, for the times are evil. Seek good, not evil, that you may live. Then the Lord Almighty will be with you, just as you say he is. Hate evil, love good, maintain justice in the courts. Perhaps the Lord God Almighty will have mercy on the remnant of Joseph. Therefore, this is what the Lord, the Lord God Almighty says. There will be wailing in all the streets and cries of anguish in every public square. The farmers will be summoned to weep and the mourners to wail. There will be wailing in all the vineyards for I will pass through your midst, says the Lord. Woe to you who long for the day of the Lord. Why do you long for the day of the Lord? That day will be darkness, not light. It will be as though a man fled from a lion only to meet a bear, as though he entered his house and rested his hand on the wall, only to have a snake bite him. Will not the day of the Lord be darkness, not light? Pitch dark without a ray of righteousness, sorry, a ray of brightness. I hate, I despise your religious feasts. I cannot stand your assemblies. Even though you bring me burnt offerings and grain offerings, I will not accept them. Though you bring choice fellowship offerings, I will have no regard for them. Away with the noise of your songs. I will not listen to the music of your harps. But let justice roll on like a river. Righteousness like a never failing stream. Did you bring me sacrifices and offerings forty years in the desert, O house of Israel? You have lifted up the shrine of your king, the pedestal of your idols, the star of your God, which you made for yourselves. Therefore, I will send you into exile beyond Damascus, says the Lord, whose name is God Almighty. Woe to you who are complacent in Zion, and to you who feel secure on Mount Samaria. You notable men of the foremost nation, to whom the people of Israel come. Go to Colnay and look at it. Go from there to Great Hamath, and then go down to Gath in Philistia. Are they better off than your two kingdoms? Is their land larger than yours? 
you put off the evil day and bring near a reign of terror. You lie on beds inlaid with ivory and lounge on your couches. You dine on choice lambs and fattened calves. You strum away on your harps like David and improvise on musical instruments. You drink wine by the bowlful and use the finest lotions. But you do not grieve over the ruin of Joseph. Therefore you will be among the first to go into exile. Your feasting and lounging will end. The Sovereign Lord has sworn by himself. The Lord God Almighty declares, I abhor the pride of Jacob and detest his fortresses. I will deliver up the city and everything in it. If ten men are left in one house, they too will die. And if a relative who is to burn the bodies comes to carry them out of the house, and anyone asks, anyone, still hiding there, is anyone with you? And he says, no. Then he will say, hush, we must not mention the name of the Lord. For the Lord has given the command, and he will smash the great house into pieces and the small house into bits. Do horses run on rocky crags? Does one plow there with oxen? But you have turned justice into poison, and the fruit of righteousness into bitterness. You who rejoice in the conquest of Lodebar, and say, Did we not take Karnaim by our own strength? For the Lord God Almighty declares, I will stir up a nation against you, O house of Israel, that will oppress you all the way from Lebo Hamath to the valley of the Arabah. The word of the Lord through the prophet Amos. Thanks be to God. Have a great day.